It's the opinion of many, including their manager, that Manchester United are yet to hit top gear this season. A frightening thought when you consider the Reds are top of the table and remain the only unbeaten side in England. They also boast the Premier League's top scorer and a supporting cast of players who appear determined to win back their crown. But Sir Alex Ferguson believes this busy period could make or break their campaign. If we're still at the top of the league, we're down to fourth, then we've, we've done well. I think that's one way of looking at it. And by that time, you know, doubt the, the top of the league will have taken shape. Most, well, depending on the weather, of course, we could have a lot of postponements here. The way it's working at the moment, it may be difficult to think you're going to have the four games, you know, but if that's the case, then being top of the league by January 4th would be good. United's trip to Stamford Bridge was just one of the many postponements last weekend. The week off and extra preparation time for this Sunderland fixture has perhaps been a bonus for Sir Alex, as he knows they're up against one of the league's form teams. Steve is getting there all the time. I thought we were lucky up at Sunderland, actually, early season. Thought we were lucky to get a point. It's the hardest game we've had away from home, I think. So these games are now tougher and tougher. Sunderland's fixture against Bolton did go ahead, and the 1 0 victory for Steve Bruce's men saw them leapfrog their opponents into sixth, raising expectations of European football for the first time in 37 years. Be a, a massive achievement for the for everyone involved in uh, Sunderland. And, but to be fair, I don't think we're really focused on that at the minute. I think we're just focused on, like I say, game by game um, and just just trying to get as high as we can on the table and if we, uh, win as many games as we can and at the end of the season see where we are. Jordan Henderson has certainly played his part in Sunderland's recent success. The 20-year-old came through the club's youth ranks before topping off his meteoric rise by making his England debut against France back in November. While his impressive midfield performances have caught the eye of international boss Fabio Capello, they've also attracted the attention of the managers of some of the country's top clubs, including Manchester United. Your friends come up to you and ask, is there any truth in it? But to be honest, it's all, like I say, it's all paper talk. Um, but I just like, I'm loving my football at the minute, playing for Sunderland, and I just want to carry on doing that. Last season, Bruce came within seconds of recording his first win in 16 attempts over his old boss, Sir Alex. But Anton Ferdinand's own goal in injury time meant the points were shared. If The Apprentice can defeat the master, it will be Sunderland's first win at Old Trafford in 42 years. So Manchester United topped the table at Christmas for the first time in four years, and they've got games in hand on their rivals. Sunderland the only movers in sixth place. It's the same three at the bottom as it's been for much of the season. And it is West Ham who are bottom at Christmas. Everton moved up one place following their win over Manchester City on Monday night. 